Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Butternut Farm in Farmington. I'm joined by Jeremy Delisle of UNH Cooperative Extension. And today we're talking about growing mushrooms. Well, maybe I should rephrase shiitake mushrooms. That's right. A special type of mushrooms. Right. And Jeremy, why do I want to grow shiitakes? Shiitakes are easy to grow. Uh, they're high in nutritional value. Uh, they're high in protein. They have antiviral properties. Some say they have anti-cancer properties. And they're just a great place to start for someone who's never grown mushrooms before. And they're also expensive in the store, so I can cut down on that. Exactly. So to start growing mushrooms, what do I need? I see we've got a log here, yep. right? So this is a oak log. This is red oak, um, hardwood log. We like uh, oaks, red or white, because they're hardwoods. They'll last several years once you inoculate them. The bark stays on them well, which is very important for this process and for the, the spawn uh, to grow throughout the log. Okay, so first step now in terms of I've got my log, what do I do next? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes. Uh, you can, we have a specialized drill bit here that we bought from the supplier. Um, I've bought an angle grinder adapter, which makes this process much faster. I've got my safety glasses. Can't forget so the safety glasses. I'm going to put these on. I'll step back while okay. you drill there because so I don't have the safety glasses. This goes quickly. Very quickly. All right, so now we've got the holes there. What's next? So the idea is space them four to six inches apart. These are a little close. Next, you'll need one of these tools. Um, this is a specialized inoculation tool. Otherwise, you can buy them pre-inoculated in these wooden dowels, which is another option, and you would just need to make sure you get the proper bit to match. Okay, and then once I've got that done, uh I know we're getting getting close here. What comes next? Right. So we we have spawn here. This is sawdust spawn that is uh, already inoculated. Has the, the the hyphae of the mushroom growing through it. So we take our inoculation tool. We pack the end of it with the sawdust spawn, which matches up nicely with our holes. And then we just tap right. three or four times to pack it nice and firm. And you want good contact all the way around. Do I need to water now or put them in sun? How does that all work? OK, so next step before we're done, once we go through and inoculate all of our holes, we use this cheese wax, food grade wax, which we would melt down, seal each of these holes, seal the ends. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this, put it in a shady location um, and let it grow for one season. Next year, you're going to be ready to start. Next year, I can go in the kitchen with my own homemade shiitake mushrooms. That's right. If you'd like some more information, you can find it on this uh, fact sheet and available from the Cooperative Extension. That's it for today's Grow It Green.